hello everyone today we are going to work on this uh, knee execution and headlock execution if i press and hold g button the punch button more than one second and release it the character is doing a headlock execution like this and that happens when the character is in the grappling mode if i just tap g all it does is doing this head bump like this and it doesn't release from the grappling mode similarly if i press and hold the kick button and release the character does a knee execution like this and similarly if i just tap the kick button it just do one knee kick like this okay so let's see how to do those things today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so before going into the headlock we need to fix this problem so last time we have this problem and if i press g the character does the head bash without any issue but if i press j character do the knee kick but it rotates so to find out what's going on here in the tick of the side scroller character if you don't have a tick you can just type tick and you can get it right here i want to print the uh, this has something to do with the rotation of the root bone <clears throat> so to find out what happens there this should only happen for the player character i only need to print the root bone rotation for the player character so if is player controlled let's do a print so rotating around should be related to the yo of the root bone so let's get the mesh get socket rotation rotation of the root split this and print so we can see what's the root rotation so as you can see here it's now 179 if i turn this way it's minus smaller value right so let's get into the grappling mode if i press g you see it's ranging from minus to positive 179 this is very close these two things are at in a close location I mean uh, the rotation changes from 0 to 180 positive and 0 to minus 180 in the other way so if I press J you can see the rotation is still going in the same but I think the starting rotation is somewhat different so that should be the reason here for the rotation so this is the knee punch attack so let's select the yo and add some rotation like two and apply and see if this problem goes away see now it's not happening so it has to do something to do with the initial rotation of the road bone okay now that problem is fixed let's let me delete this part I don't need it so now let's get into the headlock attack so this is what happened here and uh, here I'm going to use this grappling execution headlock victim and grappling execution headlock attacker so these are two execution attacks if I place the characters here this is only for demonstration
let me turn the attacker around i only want to preview the animation here so this is what needs to happen right they are too much apart for this in order to properly execute this i think these guys should be closer like this Let me stop and I'm trying to determine the initial offset between these two characters. So this guy should be here when this happens. Oh wait. Ideally it should be like this. Right. Now if I play no still character is going through. Okay, so I changed the colors of the characters to clearly visualize this. But here we have a problem in this uh, victim animation. If I play the animation, you can see the red character is going through the other character. Uh, I think the reason is there is an unnecessary moment in the root. So if I disable the root motion, we can see so when the character is getting hit there is some moment in the root even though character stays in the same place the character's foot is in the same place it goes forward and then backward so that should be the reason for that so we need to fix it before using this to headlock execution right uh, let's check the other execution we have let's try this this two grappling execution knee let's use this for the attacker and for the victim Team grappling execution victim with road motion. Let's try that. Whoa, there is a rotation problem here. All the animations sh should be facing this way, but this animation is facing other way. And also I can see there is this root motion issue which we need to fix because even though character is not moving the root is moving right so we need to fix first fix the rotation and then this root root should only move when the character is throwing back here we don't need the other moment here all right so let's fix these issues and see how to proceed with these executions next time okay so the animations issues fixed externally and now as you can see here this animation is working properly this is the knee pun uh, knee attack execution let's duplicate the same set and just the 
headlock execution as well headlock victim throat motion headlock attack right that animation also works great okay now let's see how to implement this in the game right so i want to implement uh, the knee execution only when the if the kick key is hold and release for a certain time uh no maybe we should implement a combination let's go to input we have punch uh, here for the combinations we only have shift or these keys okay then let's go for the hold method right so for the kick so i'll implement maybe it would be better if we collapse this kick So I'll collect the normal kick. I'll connect it here only when we release the key. So here, after I grab, if I press, if I tap J, a knee kick would happen. Right. Uh, now, when we press, uh let's have a right now here uh when we press let's uh, get time seconds so this will return time in seconds since the world board top four play and let's promote this to a variable let's call it what should we call it kick pressed at okay let's save it here and when we release we can get the value kick pressed at also we can get the time seconds and can take the difference so if this difference is larger than zero sorry larger than one that means we have hold the we have hold the key for more than one second so that means the player is going for an execution if this is true we should go for an execution let's test this out knee execution let's see if we get that print so i'm gonna press j I'm gonna tap J so when I tap J this is what happens if I tap J hold and release I get knee execution great okay uh, now the next part is the actual implementation uh, one more thing <clears throat> this should happen only if we are in the grappling mode otherwise none of this should happen okay so now let's see how to implement knee execution uh, for that let's create another variable using the variable type 
beat up anim data let me just duplicate this make it execution right I already have montages no here grappling execution ni attacker create any montage right this um, grappling execution ni victim with root motion okay we need to enable root motion here okay mm. let's get this split we can use display animations node we don't need the print now Local enemies attacker, opponent enemies, uh, or victim, and we need to position the character with the distance, of course. And at the end, <coughs> the grappling should be broken. So set grab to force wait I didn't implement any montage notifiers this is for local animation grappling okay. execution knee attack right here let's add a montage notifier and the distance in between these two characters in order to have properly play the animation is this is 987 this is 1229 this is one three one five so it's around like about 85 units okay and the grappling Okay, now press and hold J for more than one second and release. Great. Oh, we have that rotation issue. Right. So the reason for this is that there is a hundred and degree, hundred and eighty degree rotation, a local rotation in the road, and after finishing this uh, a knee execution character returns to the third person idle animation and there in the root there is no rotation so that's the reason causes the character to, to do a in place rotation just to match with this local rotation that's the reason for this behavior let me show you again Press and hold J and release. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the system is now working. I need to contact the animation guy and fix this issue. Uh, fix this uh, rotation in the animation externally and re import in order to fix that problem. Right. So that part is done now let's look into the headlock execution 
for that let me duplicate this uh, let's call it headlock execution and I have the animations grappling execution headlock victim rm create any montage this is for the victim this is the grappling execution headlock attacker but here also we have the same issue 180 local rotation on the road so we sh should also expect a sudden rotation once this animation is completed mm -hmm. but anyway let's implement the system Any montage here let's add uh, montage notifier right and what's the distance The same distance would work I guess okay uh, I'd look headlock attacker headlock victim RM need to enable root motion right oh wait we still didn't implement the part where we detect if it is just a normal head bump or a head lock so let's collapse this punch and head lock same as in the kick we can have this check let me copy this part oh no need we can just re-implement get table dot time get 12 delta second oh no time seconds promote to variable let's call it punch Rest at check if the punch pressed at time the time gap between the release time and the punch pressed time if it is larger than one it should be a headlock execution otherwise just a normal head pump
and similarly on the notify begin we can set crap plane to false crap press and hold G and release right it is also working but we have the rotation issue which we need to fix in future okay uh, right I got the fixed animations from the animation guy who helps me with this one and now it is working properly so as I said the solution is uh, the problem was that 180 offset we have local lo local rotation we had now it is working fine here is the attacker and there is no local rotation now and here is the final demonstration I'm gonna keep pressing J and release so the character is going to do a knee execution and again grab the character keep G pressed and release and he does a headlock execution right so that's it and I'm gonna stop this episode right here so the project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye